So everyone, we're here with Steve Wright from Lotus and he's going to give us a quick overview of the new Exos. We're at Laguna Seca at the official opening. I mean, the new Exos, obviously, as you can see by the look of the car, is very much inspired by uh, Formula One design and uh, technology. We're going to build 25 in total. Owners will join the, the club, which is the Exos Club. As part of the, the club, we're planning to run five events, predominantly in uh, Europe next year. Uh, the whole idea is that we will gather a group of uh, experts in their own field, whether they be former drivers, mechanics or engineers, fitness instructions, uh, instructors, physicians, to be able to work with each of the owners so they can hone all their skills. It's a, a, you know, they're, they're, they can become a, a complete driver in many respects. Um, so one of the key things we're working on is in fact the fitness because obviously this car is uh, almost got Formula 1 levels of, uh, of performance. Uh, working on uh, driver stamina is going to be quite key as well. But we really want the you know the owners to have uh, as close as an experience as they could possibly have if they were a, a Formula 1 driver. Hence, we're going to gather all these people together at the events. The reality is though, it, it's a very easy car to run and, and maintain. It has a starter motor, so as an owner, you don't actually need to have a big group of people to run the car if you just want to go to a yep. track and have a track day uh, yourself, which is one of the you know the unique selling points of this. You can see we've got we've done a special color scheme for for this car. Um, owners can of course have the car in any color that they want. Um, I noticed that you also have uh, historic Lotus F1 liveries. Exactly. As We're also gold leaf, I mean, we it. think will be popular as well. We're offering it in the iconic uh, Lotus colors of the past: uh, the green and yellow, traditional green and yellow, uh, yellow, the old uh, Senna Camel Lotus. The uh, GPS, uh, the GPS, gold leaf, uh, gold leaf, etc. Et um, and as the as the club develops, you know, we will obviously listen to the owner and we're owners and we. We'll tailor the, the whole club to uh, to meet their individual needs and, uh, and requirements, but it's a pretty unique opportunity to own uh, to own a, a Formula One car to all pretty intents much. and purposes. And as you can see, it's quite a quite a fantastic uh, quite a fantastic vehicle. Yeah, it's uh, when we walked in and we look at it, and we're like, oh my God, that's an F1 car. Absolutely. I mean, the, the, the paint scheme itself, which is so striking, actually took 100 man hours to uh, to paint it. In fact. So it's, it's a fantastic concept. It's going to be a new uh, Halo brand for uh, for Lotus. Yep. Uh, after this weekend here at um, uh, Laguna Seca, we're going to send it to uh, the Pit, uh, the the uh, uh, McCall's Motorworks Revival oh, okay. event on uh, a Wednesday right. night, and then it will be seen on the concept launch uh, lounge concept lawn mm -hmm. at uh, Pebble Beach itself. Oh, okay. So but this is the first time that it's been exposed yep. live as it as it were. We've had quite a lot of a lot of interest in it so far. Excellent. And it's all carbon fiber of course? It's gonna be all carbon fiber, six hundred and fifty brake horsepower, Cosworth. Um, so incredible power to weight ratio as we said, you know close to, to Formula One uh, performance. And you mentioned it's gonna be built in Norfolk? It's gonna be built in, in Norfolk and you know it's 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 very important that the, the car is authentic, so that's why it's got a you know a type number, the yep. Lotus uh, 125. Uh, yeah, built it built in Norfolk. First 10 should be ready for delivery, sort of um, March March time next year, April time next year, uh, with the first event planned to be. A, a, Early, uh, early May. And uh, has Lotus Racing, the F1 team, had any input on this no, car? Uh, no, not really. I mean, obviously, it's been inspired by, uh, as I said earlier, F1 technology. But this is this is something that's been done really at in house the head, uh, headquarters back in uh, back in Hethel. Excellent. And could we just walk over and have a look sure. at the engine as well? So how similar, I mean, is this essentially a new engine? Is it a detuned version of an F1 engine? What? It, kind of? it, it's, a, it's a couple of years old, so it's, uh, again, proven, it's reliable. Again, as I said, one of the key things is, is low maintenance, great power, Cosworth's a great engine. Obviously, we've got a lot of history with Lotus and Cosworth, so this just gives some more credibility to the, the whole uh, the whole program. Yep. Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of history there, as I say, between the two companies. So a great collaboration with Cosworth, uh, yep. again. Um, you know, we've got a strong partnership with them with the uh, GT4 program too so all in all I think we're offering a, a fantastic opportunity to a very select band of very lucky individuals yeah. who will be able to, uh, to purchase the car. Excellent.